Refractories, Chapter 3.1, Page 172. Refractories are materials that can withstand high temperatures of up to 1,500 degrees Celsius. They are used to construct molds used in lost wax techniques for the fabrication of metal restorations and the hot pressing of ceramic restorations. Also, they are used as a base in the production of ceramic restorations, such as veneers, crowns, and inlays. The wax and metal shrinkage during this process will be later compensated by the setting expansion, hygroscopic expansion, and thermal expansion. The aim is to produce a restoration that will be a perfect fit. Investment materials are mainly made up of three different components. The first is the refractory material, which could be any of the following. Quartz, tridomite, or cristobalite, which are all allotropic forms of silica. Secondly, a binder. There are two types of binding materials. Gypsum bonded refractories, which are mainly used with casting low melting temperature gold alloys, and phosphate bonded refractories, which are used with base metal alloys and high melting temperature gold and precious metal alloys. Thirdly, there are some additives. As we mentioned previously, gypsum bonded dental refractory investments are used primarily in conjunction with low melting temperature gold alloys and silver palladium alloys, which are typically melted in the range of 1100 to 1300 degrees Celsius. Gypsum bonded materials consists of 70% silica, which is typically a mixture of quartz and cristobalite, and 30% of the binder, which is usually calcium sulfate hemihydrate, while the additives are usually in trace quantities. The setting expansion of gypsum bonded refractories can be enhanced by placing the mold in water. Hygroscopic expansion causes this because the capillary action of the water is attracted into the spaces of the mold, resulting in expansion. This method is used in some types of investment materials. Moving on, a phosphate bonded investment material is used with most base metal alloys, such as nickel chromium and cobalt chromium alloys. They typically are cast at temperatures between 1400 and 1500 degrees Celsius. In this case, gypsum bonded investments cannot be used because they would disintegrate. In thermal expansion, which is done through the high heat technique, compensation is achieved through the thermal expansion of the investment or refractory material leading to allotropic transformation.